Hi friends, I'm back with another Shop My Stash. Uh, if you remember, these are the products I picked last time. So, <clears throat> there were three Kosas lipsticks and I can't find the third one. I've lost one already. But these are the swatches here. Isn't that pretty? I love these colors. Um, so the, the lighter one, oh, my camera will focus. The lighter one is like a perfect medium nude and the darker one is a perfect dark nude. And the names are uh, High Cut and let's see, Turned On. So love these. Um, <clears throat> they were the perfect pigmentation. They looked a little bit thick on the lips. So I had to pat them out a little bit with my fingers and then it was fine. So. A very traditional lipstick formula um, although it's clean which is great so love those two keeping them in my collection next is a uh, pretty baby by Tom Ford I absolutely adored using this quad uh, so here are the four colors here um, <clears throat> the third color you see there I think is probably a perfect dupe for urban decay solstice so I definitely don't need that um, moon dust shadow that everyone's been crazy over so um i really really enjoyed this purple tone palette um and uh, i will definitely be keeping it in my collection loved it loved it this blush a pink blush with a little bit of gold um shimmer it's kind of like a orgasm dupe and it's from mac called petal power absolutely loved it as well. I actually prefer this one to the Orgasm Blush from NARS. Um, it's, I don't know why, I think it's a little bit more, um, I don't know, like brighter and it, it just goes with my warm complexion, light warm complexion a bit better. And lastly, uh, the, the um, Bobbi Brown highlighter, it's called, what's it called? Golden Hour, Golden Hour, is it Golden Hour? Yes, Golden Hour, and so pretty, so smooth, absolutely loved it, um, and I will be keeping that too. So this week has been a super winning week, um, and now let's go pick out some new products. Okay, so starting out with cheeks, um, because I didn't pick a bronzer last week, I, or from here, I used my sort of regular bronzer that I've been panning, and I'm kind of bored, so I'll definitely pick a bronzer this week. Uh, let's see. So these are bronzers, blushes, highlights, and powders. Um, you know what? Maybe let's go for this one since I'm more pale now from the summer. Sweetie Pie by Too Faced. Uh, this is a really pretty one and kind of light. So light neutral. Even though it's there's some specks of pink, you don't really see that. It's still a bronzer. Uh, and I haven't used this one in quite a while. So bronzer. And then um, blush, can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm sick of the peachy blushes I've been using, Pinky Peach. I just have way too many Pinky Peach blushes. Uh, so, I mean, it's all peach, peach, peach. If I wanna buy another peach blush, someone slap me. <laughs> uh, okay, how about, let's do this one, Sun Kissed very clearly named uh, from Nude Sticks. I think it was like a, a perk or a, um, you know, sample, deluxe size sample or something from Nude Sticks uh, called Sunkist. So I hope this would be less less peachy, maybe, maybe a little bit more tan looking, but let's try that. And then highlight, uh, hi oh, this one's a good one. Yes, let's do this one. So NARS, Orgasm Illuminating Loose Powder. So this can be used as a highlight. It's a loose one, which I never like. I never liked loose formats. It's so messy, but the color was super pretty. So um, I will I will try this. I probably use this only twice in my <laughs> in my collection life of this product. Um, that's what Shop My Stash is for. So I'll pick this one too. And that should be it for now for cheap products. So this is a mishmash drawer of my keeps and declutters that I'm putting back products in. Um, it will be reorganized again, I promise. But right now I'm just sticking in the stuff that is staying, which is these two rows and then, or columns, I guess. And then this column is decluttered. So everything over here will be decluttered. Um, and everything over here will stay. So last week was all stay. 
Okay, so I forgot about this drawer again, <laughs> um, but uh, it's my favorite cheek products. I kind of keep them here, and then but because they're away from the main collection, I tend to forget that they're here. So I promise I'll remember to pick from here next time. Uh, but I actually do have a little declutter uh, thrown in here in the middle of my shop, my stash. Uh, so this is the Maestro Fusion Makeup from Giorgio Armani. It's like a uh, tint, like a serum foundation, but look how much is separated. Really gross. Yep. So it's definitely, definitely time to declutter. I got this like, I don't know how many years ago now. So this is going. And then... This one, similarly from Armani, Designer Lift. Look at that. That's uh, that's not good. <laughs> I haven't used it in a few years too, so that's going as well. So I've definitely fed up some space for complexion products, um, and I'll take some time to go over what's in here, what's all in here next time, maybe. But this is just my very minimal, I think, um, base drawer with a little bit of blushes thrown in too. So. Um, some spaces have been made and I definitely won't be purchasing foundation that much. So I don't want to make this category any bigger either. I'm going to try to use up everything that you see in here, including what's in my vanity. So I'll take you through that quickly as well soon. Okay, lip products. So as I said last time, I'll be choosing two per week uh, so I can really focus on them and see if I like them. I want to keep them in my collection. Um, for this week, I so... RMS has been on my mind. Um, they're just a viral brand right now. And I have this lipstick called Brain Teaser. It's kind of a brownish nude, orangish nude. Um, so it's perfect for the fall time. So I'm going to go with that one. That's the first lip I will pick. And for the second lip, um, I'm not sure if I've shown this before. I think maybe one time during one of my shop my sashes. This is my so-called favorite lip drawer or stand display, if you will. Um, so it's got all of my high-end, super high-end lipsticks. Um, and it's where kind of I want to remind myself that I have this and I can pick these up anytime during the course of my makeup application. But I realize some of these products, once again, I haven't touched forever, even though they've been displayed here. So especially this one from Lancome, it's probably a discontinued gloss by now. It's a, such a pretty pearly uh, nude gloss. And the shade is called, what's it called? Op opalescent, opalescent. Um, and it's opalescent. I really like the look of it, but I remember that it was slightly plumping when I tried it a few times and I didn't like that. So I kind of left it alone. So I really need to decide if I like the plumping or not and if I'm going to keep it or not. So this is the second lip product that I'll be choosing. And now the fun stuff. So this is my palette drawer. As you can see, oh my gosh, it's still pretty full even after several sessions now of Shop My Stash. Uh, there's still so many palettes in here that I have to get through. Now that I'm complaining, I do love everything. Um, so as I said before, because last week I picked a small eyeshadow palette, this week I want to pick a cheek palette or a face palette so that I can focus on my pan that palette a little bit more this week. Um, so it's just going to be a face palette. I'm trying to decide between the hourglass one and the Natasha one. Um... I think I'll do the Natasha one because I don't know if you know, but <clears throat> the Natasha face and eye palette are at a super discount at, in Sephora Canada right now, like almost half off, probably more than half off. And they're still available for some reason. And I'm so, so tempted to get them just because it's so cheap, you know? Um, but I obviously, as you can see, I don't need any more palettes and I have this beautiful palette that I have pretty much never touched, maybe touched once. So I definitely don't need those palettes, but I just, I really want them. It's, it's a problem. I have a problem. <laughs> so I think I'm going to use this this week and try to tell myself that I really don't need those two palettes. Um, the light and the dark are both available. So um, I'm going to try to use this and make sure I like it. Um, and then make a final decision on if I want to purchase the, the palettes on sale right now. I don't think I will. I highly doubt it, but um, the itch is there, guys. The itch is there. So still have some work to do on my shopping uh, habits. But isn't this a gorgeous one? Why do I want more? Look at this. Look how pretty that is. And I've barely touched it, if ever. 
So anyway, so this will definitely be the uh, palette for the week. And I'm just putting back this um, quad that I decided to keep with my collection. So slowly and surely we're making some progress, guys. So this is the keep pile and that's the declutter pile for my eyeshadows. All right, and I will show you now the finished makeup basket. Okay, so this is the finished makeup basket. Um, I'm really liking how manageable it is. I'm sure I'll be able to use each product very intentionally and thoroughly and form more of an opinion on the selection and I'll be able to swatch and report back for next week. So just a little bit of a sneak peek into my main vanity. So this is where I come uh, to fill in the holes that the Shop My Stash doesn't address. So there's some like contour products, some cream products, things like that. Some random pieces of blush and bronzers that I really like that I wanna have on hand all the time. But as you can see, it's getting really messy again. So I'm gonna try to clean it up next time. Um, but you know, I thought I'd take you with me on that too. So just to note, I tried the Dew Skin from Beauty Counter last week. It works really well, feels very luxurious and smoothing. However, it does lack the um, coverage that I was looking for and that I had with the foundation version. So I'm bringing in this Lawless Woke Up Like This uh, foundation. This is very high coverage, so I'm going to, uh, to mix these two for a perfect finish um, this coming week. So I'm really excited to do that. And I'm going to try to finish this as much as possible. I don't think I'll get through it this week, but probably next week. I think that's all that's left in here. So I'm really excited to get another foundation out of my collection. Anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you did enjoy this video, please do hit the like button or subscribe because then I'll be able to reach more viewers and um, I'll be able to interact with more of you and geek out about makeup. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye.